Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Good morning from me and my buddy out here. Look at him. He's just out here enjoying the beautiful sunrise, catching some rays. Anyways, we are back out here at Rotunda Golf and Country Club in Rotunda, West Florida. Today we're playing the Long Marsh course. We're playing the nine holes that is the White Marsh out here at Long Marsh Golf Club. This course is pure too. I love it. I'm so stoked for this drone footage we're about to get. Just wait for that, wait for that. Anyways, what we got going on here today? No challenge, nothing special, just a normal round of golf. So for me, if I'm hitting driver during this round of golf, probably gonna lose a lot of golf balls. Could be an expensive day, but you know what? We'll remain optimistic. Let's see if we can shoot around par. And yeah, let's get to it. You ain't know you dealing with a monster. Let her go cause she a prima donna. Sweating me like she be in a sauna. Trying to bend her down in Tijuana. Stat of money taller than the plaza. Got a lot of drip with no water. I'm on shotgun with no solder. She know them problems coming with the Prada. I just down up, so I'm up now. Can't afford a drop, so she bust round. Still in school, learning new things now. All right, so we've got a bit of a hectic start to our day here. I showed up at 8 a.m. for an a.m. 8 a.m. tea time, so no warm up. That was my very first swing. Hit a terrible three iron. It only went like, I think, 210 yards straight off the toe. But yeah, first swing there. Had to skip the first hole just to get to the second hole because I didn't want to hold anyone up recording all that stuff, you know. Anyways, this was a 410 yard hole. I think we have like 185, 190 into the pin now. And yeah, let's get to it. That was struck terrible. Those, those are two ugly shots to start our day. Two really ugly shots. Terribly struck balls to start our day. But anyways, we found our way right here. Not a terrible spot. Not a terrible spot. Up and down for par. Move on to the next. Let's get to it. Go. Go. Let's go. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. Nice little scramble there. Nice little up and down for par. I'm telling you, ever since I filmed that 8-iron only challenge, that bump and run is my go-to. People, if you're not using the bump and run, or if you're just a crazy skilled wedge player, don't even worry about what I'm about to say, but the bump and run with the pitching wedge, 8-iron, 9-iron around the green is killer. Anyways, we're on the, well, our second hole, but technically hole three on the White Marsh course. We have a par three, 187 yards, wind out of the right. Yeah. Let's let's uh let's put one close. Go. Go. We have 187, 190 into the pin there. And I caught that nine iron just a little bit thin. So close. I feel it. The game's getting close. I'm getting close to striking the ball well. Didn't turn out that bad though, right there. Got an uphill birdie putt. And yeah, this course is actually pretty long. It surprised me when I pulled up and looked at the scorecard. We we're playing the tips today, and it plays like 3,600 yards. Uh, that's one of the longer nines I've ever played, I think. What does that come out to? 7,200 if both nines are that long? So yeah, this is a track. All right, all right, all right. We had a par par start there. I'll take that. Doing better than I thought we'd be doing. No warm up. Ball striking has been a terrible thing for me these past month, few weeks, whatever it's been. So we're on the hole four here at the marsh, our third hole. We have 422 yards. Pretty hole too. Let's get to it. And yet another poorly struck ball. Not surprised, but I'll take it. We found the fairway here. I'm still getting used to the grip change I made. I weakened up my right hand grip on the club so I wasn't just constantly hooking everything. Now the ball's flying straighter. Just gotta get used to it. Gotta put the club face on the ball, start striking it well. But yeah, we're here, we found the fairway. We've got 203 yards to a blue pin up there. Yikes, that that was disgusting. We got lucky with the outcome there. Somehow rolled up on near the green. That was struck terribly. It's just one of those days I'm stepping up to the ball, getting over the ball, and the club in my hands just feels like 
foreign. It feels so weird with this grip change. There's zero mental confidence over the ball. I have zero mental confidence over the ball, but I have still pretty good confidence that we can put up a decent score today because the chipping and putting has been feeling well. Hopefully somewhere throughout these nine holes, a change will come in the ball striking. I'm feeling it. Maybe I just got to warm up a little. Who knows? But yeah, up and down for par. Move on to the next. Let's get to it. Settle. Settle. All right. Let's go. Okay, another part there. I am currently playing around the golf where I am relying on my chipping and putting to make par and put up a decent score today. Not 300 yard three irons, not 215 yard eight irons, chipping and putting. Like yo, 20, 2020's got some weird stuff going on. I don't know what it is, but yeah. We're on to the fifth hole, par five, not sure how long this is. Let me grab the scorecard for you real quick. All right, this hole is 501 yards. I would be letting the big dog eat, pulling out the driver, but this fairway is so tight. Look at this. No way am I getting driver in that. We finally hit a golf ball somewhat all right, leaving us 230 into this uh, par five here. I think I'm just gonna hit an eight iron. If it comes up short, it comes up short. Try and get up and down for birdie. That's the play I like. Cause it, it's, it's tight up here, look at this. Can't really miss left or right. We're finally starting to figure this whole ball striking part of the game out. We got the pin right up here, a little elevated. There's our ball and clubs down there. Up it, yeah, one, two, up and down for birdie. Let's see if we can, maybe, maybe we'll try and break par in today's video. I feel confident around the green. So yeah, let's get to it. Go on, release, settle now. All right, all right, all right, I'll take that. There's a birdie, that gets us to one under par. And I just want y'all to know, this video right now up until this point is kind of giving you and me a warped reality of how I've been playing golf. I have not been playing golf this well at all this year. I'm not gonna try and cap on you guys. I've been playing terrible golf this year. But you know somewhat, so, sometimes, sometimes you turn the camera on and just strange things happen, I'm telling you. I don't know what it is. Anyways, we're up to hole six. We got a par four here, 433 yards, a little headwind. Let's get to it. I lost it. Gonna have to find that one. Again, we're just missing it. We're close to starting to hit the ball well. Found it over here on the left side by the bunker. We now have just under 200 yards of this pin still that we're directly into the wind. So yeah, I'm just gonna Hit a club I feel comfortable with. Hit an eight iron up there, finds the green, finds the green. If not, try and scramble, get up and down for a par. Be good. How you doing? How you doing? We finally struck one well. Finally struck an eight iron well, 200 yards into the wind. Probably about a 10 yard wind. So finally I hit a club. My distance, 210 yards. Look at this result, people. Oh my God goodness now for a lot of people that might be okay that that's an average shot you know that's what people who make money playing golf should do but you know what for me the way my game is right now I'm very proud of that shot that is a step in the right direction I've been playing some terrible golf now we just gotta make the putt Okay, okay. I gave that putt a nice roll, felt good off the face, rolled it end over end, just misread it a little. I thought I could hit it hard enough to hold that break, but obviously I was wrong because the putt didn't fall. Anyways, we're on to hole seven now. We've got a par five, and you know what? We're feeling good after that last eight iron. Let's let the big dog eat. Let's check it out. Let's see how far this hole's playing today. 560, 560. We got a little wind at our back too, so let's, let's hit this one hard.
Wow. Okay. Ooh. Okay. That one hurt a little, folks. I got to the top of my backswing, and my body was like, yo, we're not ready to do this. Cut it out. But the shot came out great. We're right here. There's a 200-yard marker. Inside 200 yards, we've got 197 to a back pin up there. So, yeah, 200 yards left. The hole was playing 560. 560 minus 200. That's about a 360 poke there, folks. But I'm not going to cap. We got the wind at our back, but... I'm not going to complain about a 360 poke. Let's get to it. Go. Go. Punt for eagle. Okay. Not going to lie. It is nice having nine irons in the 560 yard par fives. But, you know, I'm not going to act like that's not special. Like, obviously, there's guys like Kyle Berkshire out there. There's my boy Nick Kiefer out there who would have a lot shorter yardage than me left into the hole. But I'll take it. Nine iron into the pin. We put it up here. We got a little left to righter up the hill for an eagle. Let's drop this thing. What do you say? Okay. We're finding something here, folks. We're finding something. I don't know what it is we're finding, but we're finding something. Tap and birdie there. That gets us to two under par. Was not expecting this. Was not expecting to be two under par on the eighth hole, our seventh hole, because we started on the second. But yes, now we got our eighth hole, par three, dead into the wind, 180 yards. Let's, let's keep this rolling. Uh, hold on. And go. Yikes. Man, I don't know what I was thinking. Trying to nuke a nine iron into the wind. We came up way short. That was hit terribly. That was hit horridly. You know what it was? I was getting cocky. I was feeling myself. But you know, we, we can't be doing that here. We got a good round going. Up and down for par. Let's get to it. Sit. I mean, go. I don't know what I'm saying. That's so bad. That's terrible. If there was a video definition for the statement, the quote, piss poor effort, it would be that putt right there. That was terrible. What are you doing, Tom? Uphill, left or right. At least get it to the hole or get it past the hole. But you know what? We're on past that. That's in the past. Ninth hole, second to last hole because we started on hole two. We've got a big par four here 455 yards wind is like straight out of the right there's a little help in there definitely not gonna be hitting the driver here gonna hit the three iron again keep it in play make something happen then to win man i have yet to hit a three iron well off the tee but i'll take it we found the fairway here. Green is up there, right behind that tree. We have got 205 yards. Wind is out of, at our back, out of the right. I am going to try something mad fun. Let's try and loft a nine iron right over that tree there, draw it in, make the puffer birdie. That's how I see it in the mind. Visualize and execute. Let's get to it. Oh, it's not drawing. You couldn't really see there because I didn't show my whole messing around before hitting the shot, but I could not really get comfortable comfortable over that ball. But yeah, I'll take I'll take this. 205, we hit a nine iron. We're right about just short of pin high. Got over the tree. That's the most important part, obviously. But yeah, up and down for par. Move on to the first hole, which is our ninth hole and our final hole of the day. Let's get to it. Oh, come on, release for me. That hurts. You know, that hits right here. We were two under, back-to-back -back bogeys. Obviously brings us back to even par. Gravity, where are you at? Come on, pull that one down. We got our last and final hole to play. I'm going to get out of their way, though. Let them play through. First hole is par four, 394 yards. Again, another terribly poorly struck three iron that found the middle of the fairway though, so I'll take it. Hitting it straight's a nice change of pace. Not entirely used to that. But yeah, we're 
dead into a strong headwind. It's probably about a two club wind. We still have 195 yards to the pin. Probably just gonna hit a club I'm comfortable with. Eight iron, get it up there on the green. Good, if not, chip it on out, make a putt. Thin to win, thin to win. I honestly think I've only hit like two or three pure crisp shots today. Have not been striking the ball well by any means, but still finding a way to get around this course with a score that is much better at the moment than I expected. Let's get up and down here. We don't need back to back to back three. Three bogeys in a row. Let's get up and down, make a par, get out of here. Oh, don't check up on me like that. Well, I told myself I wasn't going to leave that putt short. Sure didn't leave it short. Could have used a little less gas on it. Might have fallen, but yeah, I'll take it. This round, we finished with three bogeys in a row when we were two under through six. Ended up shooting a one over 37, which I'll take. I'm very, very happy with. That's from the tips, playing at like, I think I said, what, 3550, 3600 yards. Surprised myself with that score. 37? I'll take it. Let's let's next course vlog. Let's improve on it. Let's see let's see if we can get under par here in the coming videos. That'd be a good goal of mine. Get under par on a nine. Anyways, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all the love you guys have been showing. It has been blowing me away how quickly we've been growing. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate all the love. Peace. You ain't know you're dealing with a mom.